Partons this country, it's so stupid. <laughs> Partons like Advil. What a legal language, like legal language. <laughs> right, we'll just do that again, just one more. It's a kissing scene, really. <laughs> Graphic sexual scenes movie, David Bowie, Jennifer Connelly, it's gross. It's exciting. <laughs> Legalizing pot. Why don't you legalize mushrooms? Legalize psychedelic mushrooms. Watch tourism go up. <laughs> now people are going to Ohio for fun. <laughs> Instead of a forced business weekend. Why are you guys having your honeymoon in Ohio? Oh, we've never seen Dayton. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca here has never done mushrooms, so it's hard to fuck it. <laughs> Tourism go up. They say there's such an issue in this country with money. Whichever state's doing the worst gets legalized drugs across the board. <laughs> Within two months, guarantee you, they are back on track. <laughs> I haven't felt something just then. A volume change. Did you guys feel it? Good, no one respond. <laughs> the hypnosis is working. <laughs> so I'm completely subdued. Except for their sense of humor. Do you want to play the bongos with Evan? Good answer. It was a trap. <laughs> We were going to murder you. <laughs> You're welcome, parents. I just traumatized your child to a point where there's no question he will become an amazing artist. Good luck financially supporting him the rest of his life. Do you know how to play the bongos? The bongos. I'm black. Yeah, let's do it. What's your name? Rashan. Rashan. Give it up for Rashan. Hey! Hey! Jesus fucking shit! She might not even be good. We don't even know yet. Immediately clapping. Jesus fucking. <laughs> I like it. You guys want to start a band? We'll be called Two White Guys. One girl who's good at bongo. You guys been to Detroit? Going back to my theory on mushrooms. Have you seen Detroit? Yeah. What the fuck is going on in Detroit? Robocop action. Guessed what would happen to Detroit 20 motherfucking years ago? They guessed it right? Right now, the filmmakers are like, Can you believe we got that exactly right? 20 years ago, they're in the meetings. They're like, What do you think Detroit would look like? Oh, probably just a giant pile of shit. Oh, good. They're calling each other now. Can you believe that? Can you believe how right we were? Right now, there's council people in Detroit. They're like, look, we have an issue in this city. I don't know if I have all the answers, but I have one suggestion. Maybe we build a robot car. <laughs> it worked in the film. It might work now. We can't rely on Eminem forever. <laughs> That's how you know Detroit is fucked Batman. Eminem is Batman to that city. <laughs> Wow, rappers.
rappers so hardcore? You ever think about that? Rappers. Oh, I'm a thug. I'm dangerous. Watch out. Who knows what I'll do? Watch out. Rappers. If you break it down, they're just poets who sing poems. It's kind of the pussiest thing you could ever do. Ever. And yet still, they're so angry. Not all of them, but the ones who are like, oh, look at my gun. You're like, just go rhyme words. What is your... I don't need a weapon. just say the poems. You sing the poems. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> it's amazing how we'll do some drugs to get us off our addictions to other drugs. <laughs> I started doing mushrooms. That immediately got me off my addiction to church. <laughs> I was going all the time. I was like, oh, I have to be here. <laughs> And then I did mushrooms, and I was like, wait a second. God's willing to come to my house? Okay. That sounds awesome. And that's definitely going to help my gas money. Helps the environment. Jesus Christ, that music feels so good. Some people are like, oh, I don't make church jokes about church. We still go to church. We'll grow up. <laughs> Jesus. And don't accuse me of not believing in God. Obviously, I believe in God. I've done mushrooms. I've talked to him. <laughs> Maybe you're just upset because you have to go to church and listen to a man tell you what God told him. You're not one of the chosen ones who God chose to speak with directly. <laughs> I live amongst you. I'm one of the chosen ones. God loves Germans. It's hard to take in at the beginning. It's hard to take that information in. Besides, don't get mad at me. I didn't even write these jokes. I was like, God, why do you want me to write jokes about church? And God was like, wait a second, what's church? And I was like, you told us to go to church in the Bible. He was like, wait a second, what's the Bible? I was like, oh shit. You should come back. Like, it's crazy down there. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. It's very fixable, but it's so crazy. And then we just hung out forever. I did have a woman tell me one time she didn't appreciate my jokes. She thought that I was funny, but she doesn't think she should make jokes about church. She's going to pray for me, but she thinks that I'm still going to go to hell. I said to her, the rapture already happened. We didn't make the team. <laughs> like, for all we know, this is hell. Oh, look, you're here too. Let's try to make hell a better place and you never talk again. <laughs> but it's time to come to an end. <laughs> it's time to end this whole circus we call comedy. <laughs> Michelle, did you have fun today? <laughs> Do like a quick 30 second solo. see any babies within a 10 foot radius. <laughs> Is there a baby? Is this entire time there's been a baby there? And you thought you could get away with it? You thought I wouldn't find out? <laughs> ah! You're right, I would have never known had you not spoken. Where's the child? Wait a second, did other people say, here's a baby, and the parents are like, why the fuck are you telling him? 
said we'd have a baby. We could have gotten away with it. Like, no, I want to see what he's going to do. <laughs> What's your name, child? <laughs> Veda, <laughs> would you like to say something into the microphone? Do you want to say hello to all the people? <laughs> Such an adorable voice. And isn't that what it's all about? <laughs> I'm making it sound My time has ended here, but I want you guys to give a big round of applause for Sean. Let her hear it. your show tomorrow? 6.43. <laughs> Evan is playing, uh, he's one of the Gregory brothers, he's going to be here with Wayne Fetterman and Baron Vaughn, the black gentleman from before. <laughs> if you want to see them, come back tomorrow. Thank you so much, Evan, I love you. Are you guys ready for your final act of this show? That's horse shit. Are you guys ready for the final act of this show? I want you to do something you've probably never done at the beginning of a show, but when I introduce them and they start to come out, I want you to give them a standing ovation at the very beginning of their set. And if you don't do it, you're such a piece of shit. I hate you. I hate you. You're stupid. So there, the gauntlet has been thrown. I appreciate all the attention you have provided me. It was fun to get to speak with you for such a short engagement. Please give them all your love and respect. If that is Vader, I will have a <laughs> Hackling me, child. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they are from New York City, and they said their favorite city in the world is Seattle, and they don't want to leave. Please give a huge round of applause for Freestyle Love Supreme!